so you guys these are all the goodies that were in the box we got hd wig caps i love those got some 3d eyelashes a bag that says asha mary where you can store your wig and then asha mary headband to tie down the lace and then it also came with a razor for you to cut your lace and baby hairs and things like that so that's new to me most companies don't include that here I'm just going to be showing you guys the hair. It was really beautiful and bouncy. I really wish I could have just put it right on top of my head like this. But I definitely did want to bleach the knots. The color is absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this color. And how bouncy the curls are. And the hair is also extremely thick and full. This is me just showing you guys how I bleach the knots. They bleach really easy. Really, really easy, guys. So after I bleached the knots and everything else, plucked the unit, which I really didn't have to pluck it because it was already pre-plucked. I probably shouldn't have plucked it. So I actually ended up over plucking the unit. You will see slightly in the video, but in another video, I fixed it. I just pretty much cut further back into the hairline and reapplied the wig. That's why you're going to see that I changed clothes because the second clips are going to be from after I fixed the over plucking of the lace. Honestly, the knots weren't even big on the lace front, so you really could just slap this right on top of your head. You really don't even have to pluck it. You don't really have to bleach the knots. I really could have just very well put this wig on my head, which I probably should have done, but I love the end result and how it turned out. I absolutely love this wig and love this hair color. Like, it complements my skin so well. Um, I've been wearing this wig for probably about two weeks two to three weeks and the hair is still holding up really nicely i really like it a lot it's one of my favorite wigs at this point also you guys this unit i believe has transparent lace rather than hd lace which is usually what i'm used to because it's so much easier to lay hd or swiss lace but this lace ended up really blending in and it looked really good to be transparent i usually do not like working with transparent just because it takes a lot more time to actually lay the unit and make it actually look like scalp but the lace was pretty good on this unit and it was pretty it was like a good consistency to where i can see the lace lasting for a long period of time as you guys can see, I decided to actually cut the lace this time before I applied the glue because I feel like it just gives a much cleaner install. Like it's easier to make sure that the hairs aren't actually in the lace. So yeah, I definitely think I might be sticking to this method a little bit more than putting the glue on and then laying the lace and then cutting after. It, this is just my preference, honestly. But most people do it the other way, but I like this way better. You guys, I know it looks a little bit bald on that right-hand side, but I'm I'm going to fix that. You'll see. I just cut back a little bit further in the lace. I promise I'm going to fix it, guys. Once I started doing the baby hairs, I really noticed that I was either going to have to use some black spray or I was going to have to cut further back in the hairline, which is what I eventually did, as you will see in the very next clip, I believe, because it was just so hard to camouflage that one little hole, but I made it work. And this is when I cut further back into the hairline. That way it wouldn't wouldn't look like it's balding, guys. So at the end of this video, I am definitely going to be doing pigtails. So I will show you guys the end result. I'm gonna include some videos of the different hairstyles that I did. 
because this night I was going to a toga party, so I really wanted something that was pretty simple so that I can just like put a headband on it. But I'm gonna include those pictures and videos in the end because it turns out to be so freaking cute. You guys, I love this little ebon stick. It is way better and way more convenient than the actual bottle. I definitely recommend everybody get that. 10 out of 10. Not sponsored, but I do love that thing. It's so convenient and it's so easy to just place the glue on there. You don't have to keep getting your brushes all dirty and all of that. I was unable to find my straightener, my, what the, how do you say it? My flat iron. I don't know why I was calling the straightener, my flat iron, which is what I normally call it. I wasn't able to find my flat iron. I really wasn't able to straighten it how I really wanted to, so I went and bought another flat iron the next day. This is what the hair looks like in the pigtails and hairstyle that I've been wearing it in. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this unit, and I absolutely love it. As usual, all the information will be down in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more honest content from me. Peace. Love.